I'm so glad you could join me for prayer today. I thought we would stop and pray one of the Beatitudes today. Blessed are they who mourn, for they shall be comforted. So I invite you to take a deep breath, to let go of all those worries, all the things that are dragging you down. Breathe in deeply and release your breath. words over and over again. They will be comforted. They will be comforted. They will be comforted. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Holy God, there are so many people who need your comforting. This week we remember when 9-11 happened. And so we pray for all those families who lost a loved one that day. May they be comforted. And we pray for all the first responders who ran into that building, some of whom did not make it out, and some of whom continue to be impacted by all of the dust that settled into their lungs. May they be comforted. And Holy One, we pray for the people of Iraq and Afghanistan, the places that that attack led us to, the places where we were at war for such a very long time. May we be with those people, especially the people who are mourning loved ones who are lost, who are killed. May they be comforted. And we pray for Afghanistan and the people who are seeking a new life want refuge from what they fear will be coming. May they be comforted. Holy One, this week we stop and we mourn and we pray and we ask you to be with us, with all of those people who need comfort. We ask you to stop and be with all of the people who've lost a loved one to COVID. May they be comforted. We ask you to be with all of the healthcare staff, the staff who are so overworked, who are suffering from PTSD, who are suffering from being so overworked, who are being attacked and insulted. May they be comforted. And Holy One, we ask you to be with the people and the places that we know are hurting right now. We ask you to be with places that are suffering the consequences of climate change. Be with those places where drought is impacting the people causing famine. Be with those places where floods are sweeping through nations. Be with those places where storms have gotten stronger and more dangerous. Be with those places that are suffering from fires. Holy One, may they be comforted and may you lead us to action. And oh God, we stop now and we pray for those who are close to us here, our family and our friends. You know where they need your comfort. You know where they need your love. May you be with them. Amen.